We finally got a vlogging camera. With the YouTube channel, so far, I've just been filming everything with my cell phone or Josh's cell phone, and we decided it was time to upgrade. So we decided to upgrade to the Canon M50. We chose the Canon M50 for a lot of reasons, mainly because it was a great camera for vlogging, for the YouTube channel, and for photography, because I have kids that are interested in that. But some of the other reasons are because it is compact and portable, it's a mirrorless camera, it has a Digic 8 processor, it has dual pixel autofocus capabilities. And you know, I have no idea what most of that means, like no clue at all. I have a cheat sheet telling me what to say. However, I knew who to ask, and uh, one of the people that I asked about this was our editor, Levi. Um, hi Levi, you can say hi. <laughs> so we are blessed to have an editor for our YouTube channel, and he does an amazing job. He does all of the behind the scenes work that makes our videos videos. And I asked Levi, I said, hey, you know, if we are getting into something new for the channel, what would work? Uh, what would be good for our needs? And so he did so much work and research for me to check into. I also have a family member who uses the Canon and they really like it. So yeah, we are not the only ones using the Canon. A lot of people are using it for their YouTube channels and for their vlogging and for their family photos and all of that. So we thought, hey, we can make this work. But now I get to learn all this new stuff that um, I never knew. And so yeah, you guys get to come along that, that learning journey with me as I try to figure out this camera and how to get good shots and uh, provide content to Levi, our amazing editor. All right, me and Tabitha are gonna go help Julianne and Elise get some weeding done on the blueberry bushes. So we've actually only been living uh, here at our farm property for around four years or so, but there were years and years and years of um, looking at land and praying about getting land. I mean like 10 years. We used to look at um, you know, anytime a farm property kind of in the area because we wanted to stay in this area, every time a farm property would come up for sale, we would go look at it. And you know, houses were like in shambles needing to be torn down and all that stuff. Anyway, so when we found this place, it was a huge blessing uh, for our family. And the minute we discovered that we were going to be moving to a farm property, that's when the real education began. That's when all the research began. We already had chickens, we already had a garden, we already did like the Back to Eden style garden at our other house. Besides those things, we didn't have any other experience with animals, with farming, other than following people, different families on, on YouTube. I never used YouTube much until we started researching, you know, homesteads and farming and all of that stuff. And it's because you're able to, through YouTube, you're able to like step into someone's life for a little bit and uh, find out, you know, what has worked for them, what hasn't worked for them, um, what challenges come up, what animals do you want, what animals do you not want, which breeds of chickens, which breeds of sheep. I mean, it could go on and on and you can find so much information. And if people are not willing to share their experiences with you through YouTube, you know, because you can't always, you know, I don't really know a lot of other people personally that have the same amount of animals that we have or the different projects that we have. So if you don't have people in your real life who can share those things with you, then YouTube was an awesome opportunity for us to not only to get to know these families, which is really fun too, but also to learn so much stuff. Um, and through learning through trial and error. That's why I appreciate when people, the different homesteaders or the different farmers on YouTube, when they're willing to share not only successes, but failures. So that's what we're trying to do here uh, with our YouTube channel. Uh, you know, we're, we're brand new in the YouTube world and that's okay. 
we decided to do it because you know we have been inspired by so many different families and channels um, that they've all been a part of our farm and I remember watching um, if you haven't heard of Justin Rhodes and the Great American Farm Tour check it out they went around all over the country and visited and got to know small farmers large farmers you know like small-scale backyards some people just living in a neighborhood doing gardens and chickens in their backyard and anyway they went all over and it was such a neat thing to watch and it inspired us so much and it taught us so much and there are so many other channels and families like that you know we've even become friends with some of, some of these people that we originally just followed, like the Texas Boys, go check them out. And I mean, other ones, like I'm inspired by the Elliott Homestead and how she uses her photography and her cooking to just make beautiful content. So there's all these things that you can learn and experience. And you know, it's kind of, it's different putting yourself out there because you know, I mean, you're, you're living life in front of other people and the good and the bad and the ugly sometimes. You know, you could edit all that out, but we, you know, we don't try to edit all, it all out. See, like I just messed up and we're gonna leave it in there. Our goal with this YouTube channel is not only to have memories and video of our kids and document life, but it's also just to be real and to maybe inspire um, somebody. And we get to experience, you know, life with our customers every day. But this takes us outside of our little small farm world and get to have relationship. Yeah, it's not that small. And experience life. You're gonna take my shovel, so I have to do this by hand. No, I didn't. <laughs> experience and share life with all of you out there. So that's why, that's why we do it. And that's why we put ourselves out there because it's been a blessing to our family when other families have chosen to do that. And so if we can just inspire one other person, then it's worth it to us.